Hi everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and today I'm packing orders from our last release. It was the fall and restock release. It was huge, let me tell you. We put out a lot of stock, we sold out of a lot of stock, but we have a lot of stock left at the store. So go check it out if you want at MoRiverSoap.com. And so this first order is going to Maryland and I'm combining four different orders. So I'm going to just go ahead and get them in. I have them all checked off and everything. So we have Smooch's Soap. And that's a Victoria's Secret bombshell dupe. We have Figgy Cream that was restocked with this release. Caribbean Cocktail was brown was brand new. That was one of the first soaps that I made after the rainbow extravaganza. I had some restocks done, but that was more of the one of my first kind of new soaps. Patchouli Rain back. Love it. This was a brand new one with this release. Margarita Lime. I love it so much. That is punchy and so tart and so limey. I love it. Luscious Lemon was back. Was back. It is no longer back. Okay, so we were holding um, a small order from the Odds and Extras. So we have some Calendula Carrot. This did not come back, but I had it as an Odds and Extra. Juicy Essential Oil Soap was brand new. So good. And then we have, whoa, Triple Milk was an odds and extra, but Crema Cacao is was new back and it is still available. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll put the unscented a little different direction. We'll see how that goes. For seasonal, I had maple leaves, such a warm, earthy fragrance. And we had Bite Me. I think all of the Halloween and fall themed soaps are sold out except for Pumpkin Patch. And this is a week later. I've been packing orders for a solid week and I have a solid week to go. It's actually Sunday. This was, I had to do the packing video on a Sunday just because it takes so much longer to do these. I have Iced Eucalyptus, which is back. I'm sure hope this is focusing. I'm going to test it out here. I mean, it looks like it's focusing. I don't know. I am in the market for a new camera. So if you have any suggestions for like a, just kind of more like the vlogging cameras, you know, just a simple um, digital camera. This one has no label. What happened there? It's because we pulled it to the side before I labeled it. So I'm going to go get a different one. So this was the Rosemary Mint Sea Salt Soap. Let's see how I want to do this. Looks good. We had Pumpkin Pie Sugared Whip Soap Scrub. And I have a little different jars. Um, if you're a maker, you know that jars, anything plastic, anything that would have come out of China, has been, well, overseas just in general, has been very hard to come by since the whole COVID crisis um, began. So if you are able to get them, you just jump in there big and you get what you can. And I actually really like them. I think they turned out super cute. I opted not to put in that um, seal, what it had, liner, I think is what they call. And I just think it looks super cute. I have it closed really tightly and then we have this uh, safety shrink band so you know whether it's been tampered with or not which we're gonna hope with nothing gets tampered with my goodness gracious okay we had one of these cute jack-o-lantern soaps I had three little faces and the sunflower wax melts now with this release something a little different happened um, my soy wax that I normally use was not available and I waited and I've been watching it and everything and when they finally updated and said it wasn't going to be back I had to 
figure out something quickly. So we did go back to the Parasoy that we used to use and that was only because I didn't have enough time to test anything new. So went back to the old Parasoy. I bought a whole bunch of it. I have enough to get me through the Christmas release because my soy wax is still not available. So I'm probably gonna have to be in testing with some new ones. Um, there's a coconut one on the market that I'm really interested in, but I have so many customers that are allergic to coconut and of course my soaps have coconut. So the wax tends to be something that they can use. So new, brand spanking new with this release. Now I've been working on this all year and some of these have been curing since oh, February or March. We're introducing It's Just Good Soap. So it's no fuss, no fancy, it's just good soap. I'm trying to see here if it's focused. It is, well, I'll get one. These are simple square soaps. I may make them just a hint taller next time. They weigh around four ounces. The unscented was just a little bit less. Um, fun fact, I use the same amount of oils, but because it's unscented, it doesn't have the fragrance volume. And I also cut back the water a little bit, so I lose that volume. So the same size batch and nearly the same cost, minus the fragrance oil, it's a smaller soap. So I'll probably make some adjustments, but that's one reason why you may see that the unscented soaps are the same cost as the regular soaps is because I actually increased the batch size to make it into the same weight range as my other soaps. So these are not beveled, they're not planed, they're just simple, simple soaps and single color, as you can tell. Still really great fragrances. This is Spring Meadow, which is an Irish Springs dupe, and I absolutely love this scent. Um, some are super smooth like this. Some of them have more air pockets and a little bit more bumps, but that's okay. On a first use or two, it's gonna turn out great. But I also have a different recipe. There's no milks in this one, and I do use palm oil, but it is certified fair trade, organic, and sustainable by Palm Done Right, which they're a big name out there now, and the Fair for Life. So I have that marked on the back that it is certified fair trade by Fair for Life and Palm Done Right. So there you go. We have five different types. We have the Spring Meadow. We have Mountain Spruce, which is the same scent as the Ridge, if that was one you really liked. I have a lemon. This one was on sale because it's not the lemon that I love. It's a little bit weak and, and I don't know. It's not the punchy lemon that I wanted. I have two new in to try. I have one from Aztec and one from Nurture Soap and they both smell really, 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 really good. So I'll give those a try. Okay, so that looks good. So that's all of them. We're gonna move these over just a little bit so I can put some shred down on the sides. to give these a little cover up and I could face them all down but you know I don't really like that as far as appearances go so I'll put a little bit of uh, thin paper there and I just have the regular craft with this one I've gotten into buying the 40 pound boxes <laughs> about can't find myself I could fall in I literally could fall into one of those boxes and they'd have to send out a search party and wonder where I went oh goodness all right so that's pretty good now keep in mind that this is going to be insured and it's a doubly important that when you have a package when you have a package that's insured that it's packed properly 
I used to work at MBE and it became the UPS store right before I left in 2002. And that was one of the biggest things they trained us. You have to pack a package right or we are going to risk having issues on the back side if something gets damaged and it's not packed properly in the first place. So that is just drilled into my brain. I had a fun comment on a video recently that said that I do pack these things well, but you can guarantee that they don't arrive damaged. And that's that's true like 99.95 part of the time, you know? There's just some things you can't you just can't get around some of the damage that occurs. Okay, so now we need to put in some samples. We have that one wax. I'm going to put in, I have some candied apple little wax melts that I made. They smell amazing. This is not winter candy apple, though it is very similar. The supplier I use for this has a winter candy apple and a candy apple, and they're both supposedly dupes from Bath and Body Works. So, I don't know. I don't know as I love it. And it's really good mixed with some caramel and vanilla wax that I have too. All right. Now, I don't think this customer had a caramel apple spice. Let me check my thing. So, for samples, I'm going to put in a caramel apple spice. And these are really hefty. These are like a third to a half bar size sometimes. And the pumpkin patch. That's an unscented soap. We're going to get the invoice in there. I love this paper. It's called terracotta. I thought it was a nice seasonal paper without it being bright orange in your face. Let's see. That's going to stay there. So I still have my roll here and my stickers, but it's getting thin. I don't think I'll make it through all my orders. I'll have to print and punch some myself. So what I will do is, because this is four orders, I will end up refunding the excess shipping that she paid minus the shipping I pay minus the fees that I pay because I pay fees on the full amount and I don't get a refund on the full amount myself so whoa my goodness okay so this order is headed to Arkansas I am combining another four again so bring in the box Let's see what we can do to make all this fit in here. All right, we have a pumpkin pie scrub and we have the coffee bean ice cream scrub. Love that stuff. I make a lot of yummy smelling products, but this is the one that drives me just a little bit crazy because it smells so good. Oh, so we have three of the rosemary mint sea salt soaps. those in together and then we have I know we have a couple of smooches and a couple of bite me in here I just double check this order off so we have the two bite me that was a fun one to make and Let's see, so we have, let's just go in, we have Cranberry Kiss, and um, that's just a sweet cranberry scent that I love so much. We had Wildberry Chamomile, was back with this release. We have the Patchouli Rain, and a Figgy Cream. We have two of the smooches there. We have buttered rum. This one I sometimes bring in the fall and sometimes they bring towards the holiday season. So I have kind of a holiday picture for that one and I love it so much. No sense messing with it. We have the caramel apple spice. 
Now for this one, I mixed a caramel apple fragrance with winter candy apple. So it's not just the, you know, buttery rich caramel with an apple. It does have that more uh, winter candy apple kind of, it's not a perfumey note, but if you've smelled it, you know what it is. Anyway, um, some of the, the smoother, creamier notes have faded away, and I did note that in the description, but when you're using it and you get kind of inside, it gets a little bit more creamy. That's what my husband said anyway. We both, we both uh, sniff test things and test them at the sinks and such to see how they work out. So we had the Unoatmeal Milk and Honey, which at this stage is my last soap making video on the channel. I thought it was a funny name, but some people didn't appreciate it, so <clears throat> fine then. My husband and son both really liked the name and they said, do it! And so I did it, but some people didn't like it. Um, it does not have any oatmeal, it does not have any animal milk, animal milk, and it doesn't have any honey in it. It's just the scent with coconut milk, which is not technically a milk, even though we call it milk. So I think you're supposed to actually call it a juice coconut juice. I don't know. I saw something on that a while back. Green Clover and Aloe was back with this one. And we have the Juicy again. Love it. And Margarita Lime again. That's such a good choice. It's so good. I love it. Then we have the Pumpkin Patch Soap, which I had to put it in these bags because I didn't have shrink wrap. And it's much too large to fit in a box. But it's the unscented soap. And it has such a nice swirl and the cute little piped pumpkins on the top. We'll just put him on the top here. Maybe we'll do that. That's probably what we'll do. So once again, I'm going to spread out a little bit of a paper there. And that just keeps the majority of this really crinkly shred from squishing into the soap that is exposed there. I'm going to give this a little bit. Whoa. You'll stay put. You need to stay put. So I have a lot of orders for this uh, video series. I had a lot of requests and it's about to max me out on my abilities to honor the request for the videos but I think I'll be able to get it all in this time but hopefully it's not like so long that my camera dies I might have to take a break and recharge the battery on this thing so I'll probably try to pack a little bit smaller order here next and then call it good for this one so we had the pumpkin souffle Wax melts. Oh, that is like the pumpkin scent. I love it. Two of those. Three of those. Good. Very good. Then we have the sunflower and pumpkin thyme at the bakery. This is pumpkin with my French Quarter Bakery fragrance that so many people love. And it was requested to be brought back this year. We're going to do it anyway, but it was also a request. So unfortunately, we're really struggling getting our orders, our packages picked up from the post office. Out of five requests, they pick up they picked up twice. So unfortunately, like it's Sunday now, and I have all of Thursday afternoon and Friday's packages that just didn't get gone. So I know a lot of makers are struggling with that situation right now. I don't worry so much about the shred getting onto the salt soaps because they're just like super duper hard. All right, so that's nice. Let me double check that that's okay. Yes. Okay, so we're going to put in a candied apple. I have leaves and I have pumpkin shapes. We're going to put in, oh, we have all sorts of stuff going on over here. And this isn't even all my samples, but we'll put in a big, Crema Cacao. Oh, isn't that just a good soap? I love Crema Cacao. 
Let me think this through. Do we have an iced eucalyptus? All right, I have an iced eucalyptus in here somewhere. Now, is it up here? Oh, it is all here, here on the top. Okay, cool. So that's what we're gonna do for this one. Yeah, we'll just do that, okay. I worked so hard on this release. I did just all sorts of restocks and then got all inspired for fall. Now, I kind of go back and forth on fall stuff. Sometimes they do well for me and sometimes they don't. But I did go ahead and make some huge batches of fall soaps this year and they did really well. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, but yeah, I, I, had a, <laughs> I had a lot of stuff. And I got a lot of orders, and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for you guys being patient while I work on this. I'm not really in a position um, to hire anybody other than, you know, how my family is helping out. I'm just still the only one that actually packs the order. So it is taking me a couple of weeks, maybe a few days over a couple weeks this time. But I thank you guys for being patient with me. This is a super studio. I love working up here, but as far as having space for like multiple people to really be working up here hard, um, I don't really have it. I think every counter is covered and it, it makes me a little twitchy. It really does. It just makes me a little bit twitchy, but that's okay. I get a little twitchy during the fall and holiday. That's just the way it goes. Okay, so we have a little bit smaller order here. We have the coffee bean ice cream again and margarita lime we have smooches and Caribbean cocktail all right let's see maybe we'll just these over here like so I don't usually use these papers on every order, but I suppose with this one, it'll end up working out that way. I know I get some little bit of complaints about doing that. So, let me think about what samples I'm going to put in. I have a margarita lime. So, we have established that this customer, which is going to Jeanette in California, by the way. Hello, Jeanette. She said it was okay to use her name and state and all that. Um, let's see. Where did you go? I had, yeah, so we have a juicy, see? Look at here. That is a thick sample. That's the way I like it. So we're going to do a juicy. And let's do... A wild elderberry. Now, question. Where did I put that? This is patchouli rain. Come along, friend. Let's see. I'll probably put him down here. Let's see what this is. Caribbean cocktail. Wild elderberry. I do still have some on a tray that I haven't even cleaned up for samples yet. My son was actually supposed to do it and the whole week my counters and tables have all been completely full because I'm still trying to make soap. And he comes up after school and says, you want me to help him? Like I do, but there's nowhere for you to sit down and work. So he goes back downstairs. But he, he is my puppy watcher. My Mr. Maverick. He's my, he's my bestest puppy ever. So let's see. That's it, we're gonna put that in. I don't need another one of those. Oh, Maverick is just the best puppy. I have had a lot of dogs in my life. I had a lot. In Montana, when we lived in Ronan, we had, at one point, six full-size dogs. They were all outdoors at the time, but six full-size dogs, and my one dog had puppies. She, uh, one of our dogs got to her before her she was able to get spayed and so 
she did eventually get spayed after that so don't worry about it um we kept one of those puppies so we had baron which uh, he's probably one of my favorite dogs ever also he was a um, german shepherd alaskan malamute and then we had duke which is our rottweiler german shepherd um, i never had a pure dog until in the last few years we had a german shepherd we had i guess he was kind of pure but he wasn't really like our dog we had taken him in but he didn't really stick around a whole long time we rehomed him we just kind of took in dogs and took care of them for a while until we found good homes uh, my dad always used to say we were the unofficial shelter of ronan because the dogs swarmed to be princess actually when we when we found her she had almost no fur mange she had the whole thing i had to nurse her back to health but she turned out to be a super dog anyway we had so then we so we had baron and duke and princess we had that german shepherd we had um echo which she was an alaskan malamute and then we had shadow which was a little lab dog yeah and then we had all the puppies so <laughs> i have had a lot of dogs I've had a lot of dogs in my life. I love dogs passionately, but Maverick is probably my most favorite. He's a mini Aussie and he's just floofy and small and cute and adorable and sweet and I highly recommend them. Okay, I think I, I have yammered on plenty long. I'm going to cut this one off and restart. So I hope to see you back here for the next one. Bye guys.